Russia's civil aviation sector is preparing for a rare and symbolically significant event on the global stage. For the first occasion, the United Aircraft Corporation, also known as UAC, a subsidiary of the Rostec State Corporation, will showcase its latest regional aircraft internationally. The import substituted Sukhoi Superjet SJ-100 and the Ilyushin Il-114-300 turboprop will make their overseas debut at Wings India 2026, scheduled from 28 to 31 January in Hyderabad. This presentation exceeds the scope of a typical air show exhibition. It signifies a meticulously planned initiative to establish Russian-manufactured civilian aircraft as competitive, contemporary options for developing markets, with India positioned at the core of this strategy. Altitude Addicts learned that Wings India has established itself as Asia's premier civil aviation exhibition, uniting airlines, regulatory authorities, airport operators, manufacturers, and leasing firms. By selecting this venue for the inaugural international exhibition of its latest regional aircraft, UAC is unequivocally indicating that India is not merely an export market, but a strategic partner in aviation. India's civil aviation sector is experiencing one of the most rapid growth rates globally. Regional connectivity, fleet modernization, and airport expansion are fueling demand for aircraft suited to short and medium-range routes. This renders Wings India an excellent forum for Russia to showcase aircraft specifically engineered for these conditions. The choice to introduce both aircraft simultaneously, one jet and one turboprop, serves to emphasize that Russia is presenting a comprehensive regional aviation ecosystem rather than a solitary, isolated product. The focal point of the Russian exhibit will be the SJ-100, presented on static display in a distinctive livery featuring the colors of the Indian national flag and its collaborator HAL logo. This extends beyond mere cosmetic branding. It is a purposeful gesture directed towards Indian airlines, regulators, and policymakers, indicating a willingness to embrace localization, foster partnerships, and commit to long-term collaboration. Unlike earlier Superjet variants, the aircraft showcased at Wings India is manufactured using complete serial production technologies and exemplifies the final target configuration designated for customer deliveries. It is fully outfitted with Russian-made systems, most notably the PD-8 turbofan engines, devised and manufactured by the United Engine Corporation. The Indian-themed livery converts the aircraft into a representation of diplomatic and industrial significance. It implies not only export ambitions, but also the potential for more extensive collaboration, encompassing operations, maintenance, or even future localized manufacturing. One of the most notable features of this debut is the newly designed Russian passenger interior, which will be unveiled publicly for the first time. As part of a comprehensive import substitution initiative, UAC has substituted foreign cabin components with domestically developed alternatives, including seating, illumination, overhead bins, cabin panels, and onboard systems. For airlines, the cabin encompasses more than mere aesthetics. Passenger comfort, durability, simplicity of maintenance, and operational reliability are fundamental factors that directly impact profitability. By showcasing a completely finished interior at an international exhibition, UAC is exemplifying its confidence that the SJ-100 has transitioned beyond the prototype or transitional stage and is now a fully developed commercial aircraft. Altitude Addicts learned that the focus on interior configurations is especially pertinent to the Indian market, where regional routes frequently experience high passenger volumes, brief flight segments, and rigorous operational schedules. Alongside the jet-powered SJ-100, UAC will showcase the L14-300, a modern turboprop engineered explicitly for demanding regional conditions. The aircraft is constructed entirely from domestically sourced components and is equipped with TV7117ST01 engines, highlighting its independence and supply chain robustness. The IL-114-300 is engineered to function autonomously at tiny and underdeveloped airfields. 
It is capable of utilizing limited runways, operating effectively in extreme climates, and sustaining regular service without the need for extensive ground infrastructure. These attributes correspond closely with India's objective to enhance air connectivity to smaller communities and distant regions. Unlike the SJ-100, which will remain on static display, the EL-114-300 is scheduled to take part in the flight demonstration program. This will enable observers to assess its takeoff performance, handling, and low-speed characteristics under real-world conditions. India's UDAN initiative, also known as Uda Deshka Amnagrik, seeks to facilitate air travel for the general public through the expansion of regional routes and facilities. This policy framework inherently favors aircraft that are capable of operating efficiently on brief routes from smaller airports and with variable passenger loads. Both the SJ-100 and IL-114-300 align with this vision from distinct perspectives. The SJ-100 delivers jet-level comfort and speed for higher-capacity regional routes, whereas the IL-114-300 offers a durable solution for less frequent routes and underdeveloped infrastructure. By showcasing both aircraft concurrently, UAC establishes itself as a prospective long-term collaborator in India's regional aviation growth, rather than merely a supplier of a single aircraft model. The SJ-100 exhibited here signifies a significant milestone in the evolution of Russian civil aviation. Previous iterations of the Superjet depended significantly on international suppliers, especially for engines and avionics. The current aircraft represents a deliberate move toward technological autonomy motivated by strategic imperatives and industrial ambitions. The inaugural flight of this entirely domestically produced SJ-100 occurred in September 2025. This represented an important event for the program. The aircraft shown in India is not an experimental demonstrator, but a commercially produced jet designed for airline operations. This holds considerable significance in the realm of international perception. Aircraft purchasers tend to be cautious by nature. Presenting a production standard aircraft with fully accomplished systems and interiors is crucial for establishing confidence. Altitude Attics learns that beyond aircraft exhibitions, Wings India 2026 will feature roundtable discussions, technical briefings, and industry interactions at the UAC booth. These discussions will address aircraft operation, maintenance, certification procedures, and potential collaboration frameworks customized to India's aviation sector. Indian airlines, leasing companies, and aviation authorities are anticipated to conduct thorough inspections of both aircraft. The existence of the Russian trade mission in India emphasizes that these discussions are not solely technical, but also encompass commercial and diplomatic dimensions. There is notable interest in the potential integration of Russian aircraft into Indian airline fleets alongside existing Western and regional aircraft. This could potentially provide diversification and cost benefits. Historically, Russia and India have cultivated strong and enduring relationships in the field of military aviation. The presence of advanced Russian civil aircraft painted in Indian livery indicates an effort to realign and broaden this collaboration within the civilian aerospace sector. For Russia, civil aviation exports constitute a strategic opportunity to diversify beyond defense-related products. For India, collaboration with alternative aircraft manufacturers supports objectives of self-reliance, technological advancement, and industrial development. Although challenges persist, including certification procedures, operational support infrastructure, and airline acceptance, the Wings India 2026 exhibition clearly signifies a commitment to transition from discussion to concrete action. The display of the SJ-100 in Indian livery with an entirely Russian-manufactured interior alongside the IL-114-300 is not simply a marketing maneuver. It is a meticulously crafted declaration concerning the future of Russian civil aviation and its ambitions within one of the most dynamic markets globally.
At Wings India 2026, these aircraft will serve as emblematic representations of industrial resilience, strategic alliances, and the dynamic, multipolar nature of the global aviation landscape. Whether this debut results in commercial success will depend on subsequent efforts. The message, however, is unmistakable. Russia aims to be an integral part of India's regional aviation narrative, not merely as a distant supplier, but as a dedicated partner. Today we are in the city of Zhukovsky and behind my back is one fully assembled import substituted Superjet New 100. This is one Superjet New assembled completely according to serial technology, which will be put into operation by the airline. This aircraft is equipped with PD-8 engines, on which it has already made 16 flights. But today we want to show you... This plane features a brand new cabin. I'm seated in a standard layout chair. My height is 94 meters, providing sufficient space. Here I can sit quietly, open the table, install a smartphone on the stand and enjoy the flight even as a passenger for additional comfort on the chair's installed head restraints. The main interior panels and shelves are made for us in the city of Kazan by the supplier of aviation chair interiors in the city of Dubna and KS. The shelves are monolithic, lightweight and durable, without additional crushing material. The layout of the aircraft is designed for 100 passengers. The front rows of seats have an increased pitch. There is a lot of room for legs in the front row. There is a table, delivery for the phone, nothing extra you just need. We are located in the front service area. There are places for flight attendants, cabin comfort control panel, kitchen module and toilet. This aircraft is currently being prepared for an exhibition in India. After that, it will be possible to fly on it as a passenger in Russian airlines. If you like the video, please subscribe, share and like. Also, Please take the membership of Altitude Addicts to encourage us.